Welcome back everyone to this brand new build and this one we're going to be working on the Cylon Centurion. Checking the trees. Everything looks okay. No missing parts. I don't know if I can see here. And for added benefit here, I got a little electronics here from Tenet Controls for lighting up the eye and for the weapon that you see on his arm so like the eye will go and you'll see a weapon that'll be firing its gun all that in the one so I got rather detailed instructions on how to put it all together looks really good all right first thing I want to do though is I want to get this all coated with the primer first now on here, if you're looking closely, there's like two-tone color. The exterior uh, armor pleating is uh, more silver compared to the armature inside or underneath it. So um, once I once I get this coated with the primer, and then I got to figure out which parts are the uh, like this part here is the inner thigh area. That's a darker. It's not the silvery color. And these here are the exterior silvery colors, including the main body here as well and that. But uh, yeah, okay, let's get the primer on first. There we go, just gonna let that all set and then do the final coat after. Now, I will still need to do a chrome interior, but only like in the head cavity where the lights are gonna be. And uh, where is the weapon? And uh, the gun ports. Uh, I'll find them. Anyway. So while that is setting, I'm just gonna check out the circuit board here. Comes with a plug here for a 9 volt battery. At least that's what it says here in the instructions. <coughs> okay. Really, really simple build here to put this together. Yeah, nine volt battery. And fiber optics also comes with a kit for the uh, the cannon on the, the end of the arm here. Okay. Fiber 
have to take the LEDs and all the wiring comes with it. Everything you need is already provided so I don't have to delve into my own supplies. Okay, all right. Comes all the photos there on uh, the build. So, like uh, each one of these uh, kits that you buy or purchase is built and hand tested before it's mailed out to you or shipped out. So, so you know, for all your lighting needs, go to Tenna Controls. I'm not getting paid for that. Just a free ad because uh, Ralph at Tenet Controls, he's amazing. He goes out of his way to help you, that's for darn sure. Alright, so I got these uh, grouped in two different categories here for painting. So I got uh, this uh, Vallejo silver paint which is going to look really good and I got this darker graphite metal which will be the on the the inside of the model which is this one here and the silver up here so let's get this painting done starting with the silver first Moving over to the darker graphite gray.
All right, here we go. Just gotta let that set now. Okay, um, <clears throat> I didn't like the look of the silver before, so I put down a darker coat, um, black over the frame because I wanted a darker feel to the silver. It was just too bright. I'm just doing a light coat this time. got a deeper shine to it now too <clears throat> and it does look a whole lot better very nice okay so we got everything here all painted looks good all right, so I'm going to be starting. Uh, so we got the head here. Get this put together, and then we're already going to be installing uh, LED lighting for the eyes. The eyepiece here. We got uh, clear pieces there. Got the skull cap and everything there ready to go. So I'm going to put these two together and then look at the other plans and see what we need to do to get the uh, LED lighting in place. Alright. in on the inside okay now I just dab glue on the corners you just need it to hold in place you don't really need glue anywhere else for the clear part so just just a dab on each corner all right now we've got LEDs here 
really need to worry about the wiring just yet. Okay, it shows it's got four LEDs in place, but I got five LEDs here. Unless one is an extra in case these other ones are not functioning well. You know what I hmm. What I could do is take three of my three mil LEDs, flatten them out like these ones. Because overall, these are not going to be very bright. But then you don't need it to be really bright. But I'll, 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 I'll do these ones first. Um, okay, so the pins are not connect. Okay. Okay, so he does have the negatives of these pins connected, which is right. And the positives go to the circuit board here in order for them to be flashing back and forth. Okay, yeah, so, and then he's got the, okay. And they drill a hole down the neck into the body frame and then the wiring goes down the center part of the body. All right. And it'll probably go down one of the legs, down into the stand. Okay. All right. Okay. Now there's a hole that I need to drill right here for the wiring to go down. Okay, I'm not going to use this wiring here. It's it's a 28 gauge. I'm going to use my 30 gauge wire. It's a lot thinner and it, it'll it'll do the job. That that stuff will do no problem. And I got the all the appropriate colors here as well. I got this from China. It, it has everything I need. I mean, it's it'll last a long time. <laughs> Okay, it looks like I got it in about the right spot there, as you can see in the photos. All right, now um, what I'm going to do here is I'm replacing these LEDs with these ones. These are a bit more brighter, which is what I want compared to these already colored ones. So they're off to the side. Now, I got uh, six of them here. I got two of them put together. Uh, they go into the center area and these two single ones off to the either side. It's just like I, I want a bigger oomph when the light goes to the center. So that's uh, what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just going to install those now. So before putting those in, <clears throat> I added a little strip of paper there, that rice paper stuff. And uh, got it all glued into place. And I also frosted the uh, the window here, or the eyepiece. So that's frosted as well. Just so you can't see inside the head and see the LEDs. Alright, so I got these all together now. All the negatives are tied in together there along the top here. Um, all the positive lines here are separated. It looks kind of a mess, but hey, whatever. So I got it in a, in a an arc so that it kind of goes along with the uh, the eyepiece here. So. So technically it's like one, two, three, four, but I got uh, the two middle ones connected together with, so there's actually six LEDs here. So 
I just got to put that in place now. Nice. Good thing I've got these two back ones here back a little bit. That's perfect. I'm just going to glue it in place here. <clears throat> Okay, uh, before attaching any wiring and stuff, I want to get the neck piece here all together. Um, I already drilled a hole back here for the wiring to go down into the body part. Okay. Let's see here. Put these two together. Piping, wiring, whatever those are, conduits, all in place there. Okay, just gotta get the uh, face plate here on here. Uh, and then I can do the wiring, run the wiring down the back of the head, which goes down the back there, down into the body. Okay, so I got uh, multi-colored wiring here. I'm going to use brown for the negative and all the other colors go to the positives of the LEDs. Run them down the neck, down there. Then I can attach the head, put the dome on, and the head part is finished. Okay, got the wiring all tied in there. I think I'm going to leave the cap off, the dome off for now, uh, just so I can see which wire goes where which one it's supposed to fire first so I got it all I got it really long here because uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have the circuit board inside the model or if it's gonna go inside the stand that's why I have the wire so long right now okay so let's get the neck attached
All right, now we're going to be working on the legs. I've just got the other half there to put on. outer covers here. Okay, working on the lower legs now. All right, let's get the feet done here. Thank you. 
time. There we go. Looks good. And now we work on the upper arms. Alright, so we're going to be working on the uh, upper arms and starting to put together some of the uh, the weaponry here. But what I need to figure out uh, is how to run the fiber optics. I'm probably going to have to install the fiber optics as I go for the weapons. Uh, okay, so this is the right upper arm. I don't need to worry about that. But for the left upper arm, it's got the weapons that are out and ready for firing. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna run the fiber optics that comes down the arm into the weapons itself. Now we're going to be working on the hand.
All right, now working on the left arm. Now this is where it's gonna get a little bit tricky because I have to install the uh, fiber optic strands here that go down to the guns. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to drill out these areas here for the fiber optics that fit into. Uh, for these particular guns here, I'll drill it down on an angle here that'll go down into the arm. Uh, same with this here. But let's get all this drilled out. Perfect, okay, good. I'm gonna go layer lock just like that. Now I glue these together with the fiber optic strand in there and we should be good. Here we go. Okay, now uh, these here will be exposed, so I'm just going to paint those up the same color as these to make it look like, okay, that's meant to be there kind of thing. Okay, now you see this here where it comes in. So I'm going to drill a hole right around here. And I'll have to go through this armature here. We're just going to weaken it just a little bit. And I'm going to drill out these sections here a little bit probably don't have to worry about that gonna drill through there and then the point where it goes up into the arm so let's see this goes like this and then we got this arm here which connects here that so I'm going to drill through there through this point here I wonder if I could drill on the side here a little bit and then up drill through that which goes up into the arm you can see this here goes in here like this Where's that the right side? Anyway, it goes up. Unless I can drill from the side there. And it goes up and through here into the main body. Okay, all right. Okay, looking at the plants more closely, this is how this goes in here. So I can drill this section here. I don't have to worry about any drilling in this area because I can fit down in between there. Um, and then just go right into the body this way. Okay, you got the arm all put together here. Got the fiber optics coming out uh, for the guns. 
uh, this great big long one here uh, I had to replace the other line because the the glue here weakened it and it just snapped off so I've been using my hot glum gun there to hold the lines in place and it worked they're, they're so nice and thick they're able to handle the the short amount of heat so they're all in place um, <clears throat> so apparently the uh, the circuit board here is gonna have to be put into the chest area of the Cylon so I think think this part here is the back so it'll it'll go along the back there the fiber optics come in to these two lights here on the circuit board um, which is why we got these to help guide the lines to this to the lights um, so if it's if this circuit board is going on the back I'll have to cut out a section in the here for this switch <clears throat> to poke out in the back um, I might have to desolder this put a longer line on for the power um, like it'll come down the back of the model Unless I can wind the wiring down through the leg, down bottom, behind the foot, into the stand, and then, you can't see the leg here, or here, drill the hole where the wire comes in, another little hole here for the power to plug in out here. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so using this as a template, I traced out where I need to grind down the plastic to push the circuit board more towards the back there. And I got a little spot there for uh, drilling out for the switch on the back here to poke out. So I'm just going to trim away uh, the plastic there and so the circuit board fits right down inside so I have this uh, grinder bit on here Perfect. All right, there we go. So I super glued it and I used my heat gun to hold that circuit in place. So hopefully that will do the trick. Um, I might just glue extra panels going across just to give it a little more stability. 
so that it won't move when you're fiddling with the switch. So I still gotta get these lines run. All right, there we go. Both arms are done. Uh, just gotta let this set before I can install it. And we are getting close to being finished. All right, I just got this arm glued into place here. Um, just gonna let this set and then I can run these lines to the corresponding lights here. So according to this, This lower light here goes to the guns, and this in here goes to the cannon, uh, which is the big gun here. So, yeah, the main gun's here, and then the cannon. So this longer strand here goes to the cannon. These other two go to that one. Okay, so I got the fiber optics run to their corresponding lights there now. Just do a quick light test here. Well, this is a great disappointment. I really can't break open the arm. Like the whole, all lines need to be replaced, but something happened between here and here with the lines. I don't know what. They were all intact. Well, anyway, I'm not really concerned about that. I just want to make sure that uh, I get the wiring here hooked up properly for the eyes. So. That's what I'm going to concentrate on. Let's just get that done. Alright, so I'm going to be working on hooking up the LEDs here. You can see here, this is the ground. And the ground goes to this point on D5. Which is right there. So we're going to get this ground wire here, which is this brown one attached This orange is number one. So I like uh, you know, all the rest of the uh, LEDs get attached on this side of the board here. One, two, three, and four. Orange. Number one. On. Yellow, number two. Green, number three. that's working fine so woohoo I consider that a victory now <clears throat> the final thing I need to do 
is run the power lines. I have to unsolder these and run new lines down the body. I was going to drill a hole right in the back part of the leg back here. They'll come down into the frame, down behind the framework, all the way down to the back foot, down into the base, and come out the back. So, gotta drill another little hole here for this wire to come out or uh, just leave it inside there <clears throat> and I'll just reuse this clip here I'll run the clip down inside there and I'll have the heat shrink on there Connect these two halves. Thank you. 
Well, that is it for this episode, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun putting together. Well, interesting anyway. Please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share, and click that notification bell for any future uploads. If you have any questions, or you want me to do commission work for you, contact me at epic.models at gmail.com. I will see you all again later in the next build. Bye-bye. We'll <laughs>